So Sebastian, we're in a very different part of your Maipo Alto Joel vineyard. Can you tell me about this new plantation up on the hill? Yeah, i show you a little bit. This is, well, look at this, we can see what's the classic Alto Joel vineyard, alluvial terraces, um, very, or probably easier to farm and it makes sense why the history started over there. But actually since the 90s, we have started conquering basically the hillsides, uh -huh. which the soils tend to change a lot. This is a lot more um, colluvial type of soil. You can see basically about the rocks, it's all about more fragmented, yeah. edgy kind of rocks. And the tannins tend to have a little bit more reactivity. Um, we get riper fruit over here because of the exposure. It's an earlier ripening yeah. um, areas. And I think it, it really complements very well to more, the more classic, rich, and more mouthfeel in the flat areas. And here they are probably tannins that are a bit more reactive. Um, with a little bit more edges like the stones and, the, and it tends to be a lot more towards the riper blue fruit um, in terms of Cabernet Sauvignon so this is a different view of a classical variety in, in Alto Jauel. Excellent so silkier red fruit at the bottom and then up here kind of black fruit slightly Ex spikier. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. Awesome. So that's the, 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 the how the, the two areas tend to complement but showing some very different spectrums of Cabernet Sauvignon from my Valley. Fantastic thank you very much. Great. <laughs> Thank you.